Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be taking a look at a new pair of sunglasses that I just picked up. These are obviously Oakley sunglasses. Now this is a pair that was actually requested to be reviewed by um, quite a few people in some of my other videos. Um, I wasn't going to originally pick these up because when I first tried them on in the store, I didn't really like the look of it. But then afterwards, um, I was at the store today and um, I tried them on again and uh, they kind of grew on me. So I decided to go ahead and pick them up because again, it's um, a new style from Oakley. It's something that a lot of people are asking for. So why not go ahead and add it to the collection? And here it is. This is the Oakley Baxter. And this one is in the matte black frame with the prism black lenses. Now, I went with this one. I think this is actually one of the more popular color combinations. I see um, a lot of people posting pictures of having this one on. And I think it's because of the nostalgia factor of not just the frame itself, but the color, this particular color in, um, in particular. So let's go ahead and open up the box and we'll take a look at the glasses. Inside here, you do have a microfiber bag. Now, what's interesting is uh, I was doing a little bit of research on this model. And again, it's called the Baxter. I know it's spelled B-A-B-X-T-R. Some people think it's the Boxster, but it's actually called the Baxter. And that is because of the inspiration behind this particular model. Now, something else that I did want to note is that um, the particular frame here, it's actually Biomatter. This is actually um, some of their new styles are coming out with this frame. And basically what Biomatter is, it's made up from biomaterials having at least 56% bio-based carbon content. I'm reading that right off of the Oakley website to make sure that I was giving you the correct information. The reason I wanted to mention that is because what I've noticed in some of the other um, Biomatter frames is the little tag here on the microfiber bag is actually a new tag, which is an O, uh, the icon here. Um, and then it has like, uh, it almost looks like an infinity symbol that goes around it. It actually reminds me a lot of the X metal um, symbol. But this one, for some reason, even though it is a biomatter frame, it did not come with that. So that's interesting. I don't know if they're just um, starting to kind of transition into that new um, microfiber bag for the biomatter frames. But um, it, it, it's, again, it's just a tag on the frame, on the bag. It doesn't really bother me that much. So uh, again, this particular one is in the matte black frame with the prism black lenses. And a lot of times when you hear uh, matte black frame and prism black lenses, you don't think of it having any more color or anything like that. But I really like the fact that they did include a lot more color into this particular colorway. Now, as I mentioned, this is called the Baxter, and that's because this model plays uh, homage to the Baxter Street, which is a popular skate spot in Los Angeles, or in LA, where um, style and authenticity always are always on display. Again, reading this right off of the Oakley website, and that is because, and that is why it's called the Baxter. So B X T R is Baxter and not Boxster. I just wanted to go ahead of that because I was calling it the Boxster for quite some time. Um, this is obviously. Um, a very retro looking frame and they they went ahead and did that because they modeled it after the original razor blade sunglasses that Oakley came out with many many years ago um, which is one of their first kind of shield style lenses so this obviously is kind of paying homage to the um, the Baxter Street which is that, that spot in LA but also the origins of Oakley itself so I just really really like that so let's go ahead and open up the stems here and we'll take a look at it so again this is the matte black frame so the frame up here is going to be matte black and then it's got the prism black lens which is really nice again this is a shield lens so it's one piece lens right there then you have this portion at the bottom here I'm not exactly sure what it's called but um, it's in a kind of translucent teal color so um, I don't I don't know if you guys can see in the camera right there but it is not it's a matte translucent so again the frame itself is matte black but this one is translucent and it just kind of follows the curvature of the bottom of the lens right there, which is really, really cool. Then when you get onto the stems right here, you have a um, little section in here that's kind of uh, separate from the stem itself. It's inlaid into the stem. And I am so glad that at least with this particular model, Oakley did something that I'm always giving them grief for doing, which is they always have these really cool frames, really different colors and stuff like that. And they always end up throwing like some sort of random, either matte black or silver icon in there. This one, it is an elliptical icon. 
but they went ahead and matched the color of the icon to the color of the trigger stems right here, which is really, really awesome. Um, again, this is uh, a modernized version of the original razor blade trigger, trigger stems, and that is just, just kind of like the shape of it. It does have a lot more angles and stuff like that, and it kind of curves in a little bit at the end right there. But I love the fact that they matched the icon color to the color of the end of the stem right here, which is really, really awesome. And then I think that pink, actually sets it off really nice, not just in the icon, but in the end right here with the matte black color. Really, really awesome. Now, when I first saw these, it completely gave me Miami Vice vibes to it. Um, I, you know, lived many, many years in Miami, so this is obviously, um, you know, close to home for me, but when you see it, it just gives it that 80s look, that 80s color, you know, a lot of stuff was vibrant. Um, a lot of pink going on and stuff like that in the 80s. So um, I think they did an awesome job uh, in including this particular colorway in this particular frame. Now the frame is available in a bunch of other different colors. And the cool thing is that a lot of the other colors also have, um, you know, like the frame itself would be a base color, then this part at the bottom here would be another color, then this part in the stems would be another color. So um, I think they, they kind of went all out with these and it makes it really, really cool. Now, there is no unobtainium at the end of the stems here, but you do have unobtainium on the nose piece right here. So, you know, that does help if you um, are in a situation where you start sweating or something like that. It's going to bond a little bit more to your skin. There is a little bit of separation um, from the nose piece right there to the frame itself. Now, the top of the frame here is squared off. And on one side right here, you actually do have the name of the frame. So Baxter or BXTR right there. And then on the inside, you do have the um, USA assembled kind of little logo right there and then nothing on the other end. You do have your, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, serial number for this particular model. And then right there is the logo that I was talking about, denoting that this is a biomatter frame, which is the icon. So the O for Oakley. And then it almost has like this kind of infinity symbol going through it. I don't know how else to to mention that, I hope you guys can see it. So that's why I was mentioning it. That little symbol right there, you find it in the microfiber bag that comes with the old mat uh, biomatter, but this one didn't, so. Um, and again, this is a prism lens. So right at the bottom right there, you have the word prism etched into the lens. So there is a slight wrap to these, but it's not um, so much wrap that it's going to, um, you know, come around the sides and stuff like that, which you will notice um, when I turn the camera on and I put these on so you guys can see what that looks like. But I really, really like the color combination of this particular frame. So let's go ahead and put them on so you guys can see what they look like. All right, guys, let me go ahead and put these on. All right, here they are. Again, this is the Baxter model in the matte black frame with the prism black lenses. So, you know, obviously for bright sunny days, this is gonna be a great frame. It's gonna be nice and tall. So if you need a lot of coverage up and down, this is definitely gonna give you that coverage um, because of how tall the shield lenses are. One complete lens right there. As I mentioned, there is a little bit of, of a wrap to it, but you do have some uh, gaps right here where on the side, you know, depending on the frame of your face, you might get a little bit of sun coming through, but nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom. I do like the fact that the uh, extra piece at the bottom here, which is that kind of translucent bluish or teal color on this particular color is not visible. So it's not in my line of sight or anything like that. So it's not going to be like I'm looking at a black lens and then all of a sudden I'm seeing this, you know, kind of blue color underneath there. Um, it is completely out of the way. Very, very comfortable. The uh, trigger stems kind of come up really nice around the ear, um, nice and tight fits. And again, the unobtainium on the nose piece right there keeps them in place. They're not moving or going anywhere when I'm where I'm wearing them. So again, this is a nice retro look to them. I like the fact that they included that bottom piece because that modernizes the look of it. Again, as if you remember the original razor blades, it was just a shield lens. Um, just by adding this particular um, kind of detail on the bottom there and then making it a little bit thicker on the corners right here, it just enhances the look of the frame altogether really nice. Again, that matte black contrast with the pink is really, really awesome. And again, as you see them, you know, you're probably just like myself, it screams 80s, it screams retro, screams nostalgia. Um, for me, it screams Miami because, you know, obviously Miami Vice and stuff like that. Um, you know, I grew up watching it and, and whatnot. So really, really awesome pair. As always, I do like to kind of show you guys what that looks like when I put it on top of my head because that's normally what I do when I go inside or something like that. I'll just throw them on top of my head. They're not squeezing or bending or anything like that. And then when I need to uh, go back outside, I can just bring them back down and there they are in place and 
um, they are very, very comfortable. Again, that biomatter is nice and lightweight. Um, you know, it's, it's very sturdy, so you can wear these all day and not have to worry about it. These are great for driving, I would say, because you get good peripheral vision since it's a shield lens. Uh, so if you're looking down the sides and stuff like that, there's nothing in the middle blocking your vision or anything like that. Very, very comfortable pair. Um, so if you're looking for something retro, something, um, you know, uh, colors, you know, uh, and again, uh, if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link to the Oakley site where you guys can check these out um, and see the different colors that are available, both in the lenses uh, and the frames, the bottom piece right here, the um, trigger stems, uh, they all, they, they made a good variety of color combinations. So you guys can check those out for yourself. But if you guys are interested, I would definitely recommend that you check these out. Maybe go to your local Oakley store or Oakley vault and uh, try them on to see um, how they fit. Again, uh, when I first tried them on, um, I just didn't like that they didn't have that much of a wrap. But again, I remember that this is not a sports specific frame. This is more of a lifestyle frame with a rubber nose piece, which, which is a good addition to it. So, um, that, you know, once, once I thought about that, and uh, then I knew that it didn't have to um, wrap as much. It was more of a lifestyle frame itself. So uh, there it is. I just kind of wanted to give you a quick look at these. Um, there is another model that's coming out in this particular um, combination, which is the Baxter frame, but it actually is going to come with metal, um, the metal trigger stems. I might pick one of those up because uh, those look really, really awesome. So if you guys are interested, let me know below if you want me to go ahead and pick these up, pick those up so I can make a video of them, even though they're kind of similar to this one, but the, the metal uh, trigger stems is different enough that I would want to add one of those. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know in the comment section below. So again, this is the Baxter model from Oakley in the matte black frame with the prism black lenses. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.